Hi, I'm Louisa. I'm a first year student about to go into my second year. I just decided to do midwifery as I knew that I wanted to be in a profession where I could help people. I previously studied psychology and I worked in mental health for a little while, but I knew that that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. During our course, we uh, did some modules where we looked at fetal development and pregnancy. And I just found the whole thing so fascinating. How amazing is the female body? Um, and having the opportunity to help and guide women through this most incredible moment of their life, to advocate for them, to meet and work with uh, other like-minded, strong, powerful women is just so amazing. Um, knowing that as a midwife, you have the ability to make this experience the best that it can be for these women and the impact that you can have on them and their families is just so exciting. One of the core values of being a midwife is caring for and helping people and that's been a passion of mine for as long as I can remember. Um, I also love to meet new people from all walks of lives, hear all their stories and get to know them and that is definitely something that midwifery offers. Every day you're meeting new people and getting to know them and that's something that I think is really unique about midwifery, this special relationship that you build with them, their friends and their family and it's so incredible. Um, there's obviously an element of science involved in midwifery so having an interest in that is beneficial. Uh, as I already said, I find the female body fascinating and I'm amazed at how much I've already learned in just a year and I can't wait to carry on learning more. Um, I also like to keep up to date with current affairs and political topics and it's incredible to see what an impact they can have on midwifery um, and other healthcare professionals and how they guide how it all works. It is absolutely not essential to have worked previously in a maternity ward or even in a hospital environment. Um, if you have, that is amazing and it's going to help you so much. But before starting this course, I had never worked in a hospital. Um, I had healthcare assistant experience, but not in a hospital setting. So that was all completely new and that was absolutely fine. The majority of my previous experience has been in hospitality. But there are so many transferable skills um, that I could bring, uh, such as customer service, um, just being comfortable striking up a conversation with a complete stranger every single day. And as we keep coming back to, just wanting to help and care for people, so important. Um, there's so many things from life experience that you can bring as well. If you've ever had to care for a family member or a friend, that compassion and that empathy, such vital values to have as a midwife. Also, if you've ever been in a stressful situation, using your initiative and having to think on your feet is something that you'll be doing on a daily basis as a midwife. So the course is a three year course and it's made up of blocks of theory and placement. So when you start your course in September, you come into a block of theory and they've designed the course really well so that you start off with the most basic knowledge and then as you progress through the course and you gain more experience, you build on this theory in blocks so it never feels too overwhelming. You just add to the knowledge that you've already got. The placement blocks are where you go out and you really put this theory into practice. You see it in real life and you really understand what you've just learned in the previous theory block. Then once that placement block's over, you come back into theory, learn some more and then you go back out into placement and see it again out there in practice for real. The placement blocks also give you a bit of a break from learning which can be quite nice and just a chance to really get your head around what you've just learned in the theory block. They use a variety of different teaching methods at the UEA. So we have lectures which are taken by UEA midwifery lecturers and they're always so passionate and engaging and they have such a plethora of knowledge and experience between them. And the lectures are always really interactive and there's a lot of student involvement and they push you to challenge your thinking and think further and deeper about all the different topics. Um, we also have lecturers from loads of other professionals, such as pharmacists, consultants, sexual health professionals and specialist midwives, who all bring their own values and experiences and knowledge and you just gain so much from having um, lectures from such a different variety of healthcare professionals. We also have skills days 
Um, we normally do these face to face, but at the moment we're doing them online due to the pandemic. We are going to be creating learner bubbles, however, as there are essential skills that we have to do in person, such as vaginal examinations, taking vital sign observations and taking blood. Um, it gives you an opportunity to practice them with the other students on your cohort in a safe environment before you go out and do them in real life on a woman. We also do a lot of group work throughout the course, um, things such as debates and presentations. Um, so you each get a scenario or a topic which you go away and research and then you come back and you present it to the rest of the cohort. It's always nice to work with a different group of people than you might normally work and a good way to make new friends and always you learn a lot. There's always a lot of independent study time scheduled within the timetable which is great for a chance for you to catch up on any reading or go over anything that you aren't sure on. And the lectures are always amazingly helpful and you can contact them whenever and always get hold of them for more help or any clarification that you may need on any topic if you're struggling on it. Um, something that's actually really great about UEA is how um, helpful all the lecturers are with your learning needs. So when you go out into placement, you'll rotate between all the different practice areas, getting experience in all of them. So you go out into community, you go on the antenatal ward, the postnatal ward, onto delivery suite, and also there's a midwifery-led birthing unit at every hospital. So the university currently has links with the Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital, with James Paget and the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Kings Lynn, and also West Suffolk and Ipswich Hospitals. They're currently in conversation with Peterborough and Adam Brooks for potential new future placement opportunities. The great thing about the way that the UEA does their placements is you always have one placement at a larger trust, such as the Norfolk and Norwich, and a placement at a smaller trust, like the James Paget or the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Um, the larger trusts is where the most complex care happens and takes place and the smaller trust is um, more focused around safeguarding and is more family orientated so you get an experience at both of these different working environments. When I came to the interview day and the open day the lecturers were just so passionate and energetic and that really bounced off onto me and I could just tell how dedicated and committed they were to their students and I knew that I would just benefit from being a UEA midwifery student. Um, I also loved how green the university was, quite literally in that there is a lot of green space around the university, um, there's a lot of beautiful countryside and there's the lake which is lovely for a little walk around. Um, but also as a mentality, the university is quite encouraging of the use of public transport, of cycling and walking wherever possible and the links and facilities that they have set up to facilitate this makes it really achievable. Um, also the fact that it's a campus university was appealing to me. Um, I like the fact that everything is there in one place, especially knowing that as a midwifery student you're going to have long days at the university full of theory. So knowing that there's a student priced coffee or meal just around the corner was really appealing. Um, also you've got the library right there if you've got time in between lectures or at the end of a day. Um, yeah, just really convenient having everything in one place. Doing midwifery is definitely full on and you have to put the work in if you want to succeed. And this can seem hard at times, especially when other students around you seem to have a lot more time to do a lot more partying than you do. But you have to remember that you're going to come out with a qualification at the end of this and be fully ready for employment. Most students choose to live on campus for the first year and then move into a house off campus for their second and third years, either with other midwives from their cohort or with other students that they've met throughout their first year. You're responsible for transporting yourself to and from your placements, either in your own car if you have one, or if you don't, you can organise lift shares with other students or use public transport. You're also um, responsible for ensuring that you're keeping up with the hour requirements for placement. The university have incredible links set up with departments throughout the hospital and in community to enrich your placement experience. So you can do days working with the smoking cessation team, with the specialist diabetes midwives, um, working in the ultrasound clinic, working in the gynae clinic or observing surgeries. So many placement experiences that you can benefit from by being a UEA student. 
The step up from school to university does take some adjustment and it requires a lot of motivation for self-study off your own back um, in order to keep up with the work. But the university does give you a lot of support and information and preparation for any assessments, assignments that you're going to have throughout the course. And also the midwives and women have blown me away with how much they facilitate you to learn and evolve when you're out in placement. Um, my first year has been such a variety of emotions. Uh, the fear of going to uni on the first day is so real, but you have to remember that you're all in the same situation together. And especially doing a course like midwifery, you get to know your course mates so quickly and so well, and you become each other's rocks and supports throughout the three years. You laugh together, you cry together, you learn together, and you learn from each other. And it's just the most incredible thing, and you'll have friends that you will have for the rest of your life. There's hundreds of clubs and societies that you can also join at the university where you can meet other people and try something new. Um, from sports societies, yoga to garlic bread appreciation society and there's also the midwifery society um, which is a great place to meet second and third year students to talk to them about their experiences and get advice and tips and also just to let off some steam and relax a little with the social events that they organise. So I wish, wish all of you the best in whatever decisions you make and your application process and I hope to see some of you at UEA as midwifery students in the future.